Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Z transform of a sinusoidal signal. Z transform of sinusoids. Specifically, we are going to look at x of n is equal to cos of omega naught n u of n. That is, we are looking at causal sinusoidal signal. So, so to solve this uh, Z transform or to, to evaluate the Z transform, we will use the linearity property. So, we rewrite this signal x of n as x1 of n plus x2 of n, where x1 of n is 1 by 2 e power j omega naught n and x2 of n is 1 by 2 e power minus j omega naught n. So, by using the Euler's formulas, we are rewriting the cos omega naught as 1 by 2 sum of e power j omega naught n plus e power minus j omega naught n. So, x1 of n becomes 1 by 2 e power j omega naught n and x2 of n becomes 1 by 2 e power minus j omega naught n. Now, to determine the overall z transform x of z, we need x1 of z and x2 of z. So, x1 of z is the z transform of x1 of n that means it will be equal to 1 by 2 1 by 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse here it is like alpha power n u of n note that there is actually u of n here so uh, x1 of n is like al uh, some constant multiplied by alpha power n u of n so alpha is e power j omega naught therefore x1 of z is 1 by 2 1 by 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse and of course the ROC is given by mod z greater than 1 because absolute value of e power j omega naught is 1. Next the z transform of the second component that is x2 of z will be equal to again 1 by 2 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega naught and z inverse. Here the value is um, here the alpha is basically e power minus j omega naught and therefore the ROC is also the same mod z greater than 1. Now to find the overall z transform simply we have to we have to add these two z transforms that, that means we have x of z is equal to 1 by 2 summation 1 by 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse plus 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega naught z inverse and now by doing simple algebra we can easily show that this will be equal to 1 by 2 and the numerator is 2 minus that is 1 plus 1 is 2 and then minus 2 times cos of omega naught into z inverse that means e power j omega naught plus e power minus j omega naught becomes 2 times cos omega naught and then the denominator is 1 minus e power j omega naught z inverse multiplied by 1 minus e power minus j omega naught z inverse. So, upon further simplification, we get 1 minus z inverse cos omega naught and the denominator is 1 minus 2 times cos of omega naught multiplied by z inverse plus and then the product of these two terms that is minus or minus plus e power j omega naught into e power minus j omega naught is equal to 1. So, the last term will be z power minus 2. Therefore, the overall z transform is x of z equal to 1 minus z inverse cos omega naught minus divided by 1 minus 2 times z inverse cos omega naught plus z power minus 2 and the ROC will be mod z greater than 1 because the z transform of both x1 of z and x2 of z have ROCs as mod z greater than 1 since they are identical the overall ROC is also the same. So, the for the uh, cos function z transform is given by this uh, ratio and the ROC is given by mod z greater than 1 that is the region outside the circle of radius 1. Now, for a second signal say x2 of n defined as sin of omega naught n into u of n that is a causal sinusoid as ca causal sign signal the z transform can be calculated um, along similar lines that means x2 of z will be equal to consider another signal x of n equal to sin of omega naught n multiplied by u of n. So, to now we have to again use the same methodology to find the z transform of this sin 
of omega naught n therefore we write x of n as uh, 1 by 2 j multiplied by x 1 of n multiplied minus x 2 of n so uh, x, x of n is written as 1 by 2 j x 1 of n minus x 2 of n so x 1 of n is nothing but e power j omega naught n and and of course u of n and x 2 of n is e power minus j omega naught n u of n so we already derived the z transforms of these two signals so x of z the combined z transform will be equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by so 1 by 2 j multiplied by 1 by 1 minus e power j omega naught and z inverse and minus 1 by 1 minus e power minus j omega naught z inverse so that is the overall z transform for a sinusoid signal so upon simplification this can be easily shown to be equal to uh, we have 1 and minus 1 that cancel each other and then uh, we have in the numerator we have uh, 2 times sine of omega naught and then j inverse and of course there is a j 2j sine omega naught j inverse divided by 2j multiplied by and then the denominator is identical to the z transform of the cos function so it will be 1 minus 2 times z inverse cos of omega naught plus z power minus 2 therefore the overall z transform for the sinusoid function is x of z is equal to z inverse sine of omega naught divided by 1 minus 2 times z inverse cos omega naught plus z power minus 2 and the corresponding ROC will be similar that is mod z greater than 1 that because both uh, x1 of n and x2, have x2 of n uh, and their corresponding x1 of z and x2 of z have the ROC z mod z greater than 1 that is the uh, z plane outside the unit circle so for the sinusoid signal also uh, the ROC is basically the whole z plane outside the unit circle so to summarize we have used the linearity property to evaluate the z transform of both cos function and the sine function that is a causal cos function and a causal sinusoid function uh, basically we use the Euler's uh, formula for the cos function to decompose the signal as x1 and x2 where x1 is 1 by 2 times e power j omega naught n u of n that is a complex exponential and similarly x2 is e power minus j omega naught n by 2 u of n that is a again it is a conjugate of the x1 of n now we determine the z transform of these two individual signals and these are given by the formula based on alpha power n u of n where alpha is e power j omega naught and e power minus j e power minus j omega naught respectively so based on that formula we have 1 by 1 minus alpha z inverse and mod z greater than mod alpha so we have these corresponding z transforms and finally we combine them to get the overall z transform so therefore the z transform of the cos function is 1 minus z inverse cos omega naught divided by 1 minus 2 times cos omega naught z inverse plus z power minus 2 and the ROC is mod z greater than 1 similarly we can also derive the z transform of sinusoid function that is the sine function uh, sine omega naught n u of n and which is found to be x of z is equal to z inverse sin omega naught divided by 1 minus 2 times z inverse cos omega naught plus z power minus 2 and the corresponding ROC is mod z greater than 1. Thanks for watching.